I decided to come back because, um, I mean, I left my spring semester to go train in Arizona. And uh, one thing I always promised my mom and my father, I would always graduate. It just, it was the timing was right and, and it was perfect timing. Being here, not having to travel so much, but my whole family being here in Austin, I was able just to just sit still and just go ahead and knock it out. Coming back, I mean, the University of Texas helped me out a lot. Uh, from Cat over North End Zone, she helped me enroll in classes. Rich Ojeda, he was my counselor. And uh, he always actually emailed me here and there and asked me that I want to enroll back in school and go ahead and finish. But, uh, you know, after 10 years of playing in the NFL and realizing that, you know, the time may be over and now it's time to transition to the next step in my life. So, you know, the one thing I needed was my degree. And I think that's the most important thing. So it's just the right time. Everything works itself out for a reason. I'm so proud of Michael because he's come back and really condensed a lot of coursework into a short amount of time. So he really dove in feet first and wasn't going to let anything stop him. He knew the challenges that were there, so it wasn't like, oh, I wish I didn't have to do this or I didn't have to do that. It was all about, tell me what I need to do and I'm going to get it done. You know, a lot of people are not blessed with the opportunity to come to the University of Texas to play football, win a national championship, and then leave it with a degree. So this is my last step, and when I made that commitment to come here to, to realize I was a student first. In the older, mature, being in an NFL classroom atmosphere for the last 10 years, taking notes, being able to sit in a classroom for long periods of time, you know, time management-wise. A lot more on my plate, having a wife, having kids, uh, working out, and still coming to school. I think it's a lot on my plate, but I think the one thing is just find something that you're very passionate about. The same way I found a passion in playing football. You just find something to have a, a strong passion for and pursue that dream right there at life after football. Look out. Oh, he took too long. Block. Touchdown, Texas. And my mom and my dad both was first generation uh, graduates of their families. And uh, I have a twin brother who graduated also, so I think it just fell in place that I, I had to follow that tradition. And let alone I have three kids now, and I think that's something that I'm always preaching them education, education, education. But you know, one thing I have to do is back it up with my own education. So I think that was the best uh, decision I made. What you feed the brain, what you feed the mind, the knowledge, and everything else, you know, you, you can't take that away. You can always take the game of football, can always be taken away from you from an injury. Um, your talent level, anything can happen that could be, it could be taken away from you. I would strongly recommend anybody who was even considering Texas to come to Texas. Um, if it's not for sports, but at least come here to get your degree because it goes a long way. It's a strong bond. I mean, no matter whether you played alongside of each other, whether it's a, um, a casual conversation, wherever it is, uh, a great example. Um, this season, ran into Kevin Durant. I don't think me and Kevin Durant may have said a word to each other when I was here at the University of Texas, but saw Golden State play the Houston Rockets and we ran into each other in the, the players area and you know, shook hands, took a picture and uh, <laughs> had a conversation like we known each other forever. But I think that's just a, a bond that you have just being at the University of Texas that, that can never be broken. I would say what this means, you know, graduating from the University of Texas and then having a twin brother who also has a, a degree from the University of Texas, I think it just means a lot. You know, my brother just having my, my first niece, little Aubrey, and then you have my son, Michael, and uh, daughter, Maya, and Mackenzie. I think that's just, you know, a new beginning for, for that next generation of the Griffin family. The thing I'm looking forward to is being able to join that UT alumni, you know, that, that foundation that says, you know, I'm, I'm educated, that i uh, you know, I have a degree. This is another thing to add on to the list of, you know, playing in the NFL, winning a national championship, but now I get that ring that I remember Coach Brown showing me that when you graduate, you know, this is what you get, this is what you get to receive, and you get to wear it around. And it's amazing how many people recognize that ring and realize that means you have a degree from the University of Texas and you was an athlete and football player. So I'm very thankful just for all the help, you know, trying to get back into writing papers again. I mean, the last 10 years, all I wrote was X's and O's. And again, it's been so long that um, when I was 18 years old when I committed and signed and went to class to finally be able to walk across that stage and realize I accomplished that goal that I set forth a long time ago. I wouldn't change it for anything.